Then this in here, this is our, our workspace. This is, uh, no one ever says this when they go in the bedroom, but when they walk in here, they're like, so this is where the magic happens. This is right? where the magic happens. <laughs> This side is Lindsay's side, and you can see this is where she's got all her puppet designs. This is actually a prototype for her Scarlett Johansson Black Widow puppet that she's doing for uh, for Marvel Comics. Right now, she's she's doing that right now. Right? Yeah, she's got a bunch of stuff she's doing for Guardians of the Galaxy. This is um, actually this is a Star Wars T-shirt that she's designing, but no one's supposed to see it yet. This over here, this is my corner of the universe, and this is where uh, I draw a lot of fun stuff. This is where Yoda hangs out and he gives me uh, ancient wisdom from the uh, from the Jedi Order. So he's overseeing your work, basically. Totally, totally hangs out. This is something that no one has seen yet. This is uh, a brand new poster for Hollywood is Dead. It's with the new book that's coming out and it's every single oh. Hollywood is Dead poster that I've done and I've already taken the time for the people that ordered through the Kickstarter I've taken the time to draw a, uh, a zombie Marilyn Monroe right on the poster. It's amazing that when you see them at this size, you can instantly pick out the movie poster mm -hmm. and identify what it is. And then when you read further, you go, oh, this is toy gory. <laughs> right. And post-mortem combat. Right. So Darth Vader hangs out here. Here is a, um, I keep him in the corner because if uh, I hope no one like at parties and stuff comes in here and starts playing with them, he is super glued together because man, these battle droids, they did these digitally because there's no way these guys standing up, they would have just, you know, kept falling down and stuff. But uh, so he kind of takes charge over here. This is uh, a replica of Obi-Wan Kenobi's. Wow, I have never held one. Man, you could hurt somebody with this. You could. Even, even without it, the... Without the light on, you could whack it over someone's head. It actually works pretty good. Man. Now, does this actually work? Can you, can you sever, like, a Wookiee arm with this? You, you need to be one with the Force in order for it to, to turn on and uh, stuff. I'm still, it's, I'm still a Padawan, so right. I'm, I'm in I, training. I would turn it on, too, but that's a vulgar display of power, so I don't want to, like, right. be show right. off yeah, yeah, or yeah. anything like that, so... Wow, Fifth Element dude up on the top right. I yeah, you know what? You that. can't find... Much fifth element stuff. I've never seen one like that. But this is one thing I could find, and it's like a bobblehead, which is weird. Crazy. It's on a spring. But it's which the isn't Mondo too far Shawn. off from how it actually worked in the movie. Yeah. It's kind of had a bobblehead effect in the movie. Now what it's we need is stuff. Lilu. We have Lilu and we're, we're done. I know. This here, this is, I, when, um, when I met J.J. Abrams the first time, I had to have him sign one of the Lost posters for me. So that one's signed by J.J. So um, Watto hangs out uh, over here. This is uh, this is some of my favorite uh, Lost characters, and it's even got. Um, you don't know me. I'm a bloody rock god. So it's uh, all the Lost figurines that uh, that have different uh, sound effects and stuff. Guys, where are we? Interesting. And then uh, these are some of the custom figures that I've painted up here. So you this is Barth uh, Vader? I painted Barth Vader. And this is a, uh, a Boba Fett uh, dunny, not a money, but a dunny. It's got the rabbit ears. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they're cool, you know, they're one of a kind collectibles. This is one of the latest uh, Star Wars CDs that came out. This is the original radio drama for A New Hope. This is the original art right here. And so I wanted to show you, this is just living proof, and I think this looks great. But when you look at the printed art, you know, a lot of times artists say, oh, the original looks so much better. But look at Obi-Wan Kenobi there. Yeah. And look at Obi-Wan Kenobi there. And you tell me. Not only that, they cropped out the X-Wing fighters. They and, did. Uh, yeah, they, they kind of moved. Fading out R2 here. Right, right. And, that, you know, that's what they do. You kind of get used to it. So after a while, it's just kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. That's, uh, that's the name of the game. Do you have situations where um, in movies or in trailers or video games where when they license your music, they kind of do stuff to it that you're like, why would they do that? But it's like I, they paid you, so you're just yes. kind of like, ah, whatever. Absolutely. I, I have to emotionally detach myself. Like when it, something like that gets licensed, I'm like, whatever it is, right? it is. I know, what, I know what the song is. Thankfully, my fans know what the song is and whatever they do for the, the trailer or the video game. Right. Um, it's a little out of your control, you know? Right. They're paying you money to do this and you mm -hmm. can you know. 
And at the same time, it's like, how mad can you be? It's like, they're using your music. They're using my artwork. Right. It's like, can I really complain that they cry? I mean, dude, it's my artwork on a Star Wars CD. It's so just it's... that you spent so much time making this perfect. <laughs> right. And it's then like, it's like, <laughs> someone scanned it the wrong way. And now... Right, like, right. And you're like, why would they do that? But, right, yeah, ben, ben is kind of gone there. He's, <laughs> he's kind of a ghost. Yeah. Well, he is a ghost. So I don't know. That's Maybe true. that's what they were thinking. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah.